Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today's video will be very interesting because this will be a progression throughout the gameplay. If you are a beginner, if you are um, if you already played this game for more than two seasons or already in a live season instead of Stripe. This video will be important for you to understand uh, the main mechanic of the game, which is heroes, right? Every se every single season, whenever you are progressing throughout the seasons, new heroes are coming out in Call of Dragons, and sometimes it's difficult to understand how and where you should move, right? As an archer main, today will be the first video regarding archer progression uh, with the free-to-play players, maybe pay-to-win players, beginners, and so on. So I will try my best to explain the path uh, through the... Uh, getting better hero pairs for archers depending on your gameplay type so of course at first everybody is starting game nobody is already paid to win uh, everybody is free to play at the start of the game and let's imagine that i'm starting the game as a beginner and how i would build up my archer account uh, simply because i i have played with almost every single archer in this game and i i have enough experience uh, to talk about every single one of them right so we are starting the game and our first choice and first and only choice is of course Gwenwin and Craig if you of course picked the spring wardens Gwenwin would be your uh, like first hero which you will go going to awaken and it's not a bad choice uh, as even an archer main at first i started with spring wardens i thought that spring wardens was uh, the archer faction but of course the idea is different so regarding Gwenwin, pretty good epic hero for archers for the starting one especially because of the precision talent and because of the awakening skill which is uh fair and wind which is amazing for behemoth battles even on the late game you can s simply use Gwenwin with the in the behemoth battles and she will perform amazingly right like uh, giving poison to high health target which is behemoth uh, many many times it adapts a huge amount of damage so craig and thea craig and um gwenwin and craig would be the first choice it's not a bad choice until you will understand how gameplay works right it will be amazing for farming darklings uh, it will be good for forts uh, and also you will be using uh, gwenwin and craig for the uh, like behemoths in terms of uh, pvp this hero pair should not be the best and shouldn't be even great because it's an epic hero hero pair it's for you to understand how range the units are in general working in this game uh, what's the range you want to play with you can of course use for the pvp in order for you to understand how pvp works for the archers that's for the beginners for the all the players who are starting the game game and they want to be archers right of course you are playing the game you are opening some gold keys and maybe randomly and of course you would be if you are playing call of dragons you will unlock nico right nico is a gold key hero which every free to play player and pay to win player can get and right now whenever you're gonna get nico you have a chance to have a new hero pair which will be much much stronger than Gwenwin and Craig right of course it's an ama it's amazing pathway because uh, Nico is also free to play friendly hero if we're gonna compare it to the other ones simply because it's gettable from the uh, normal keys right uh, so let's say we got Nico now we are changing up our uh, style right I forgot regarding the artifact for Gwenwin and uh, Craig, um, of course, you won't gonna have like uh, legendary artifacts for uh, your epic heroes, and I think um, uh, it will be preferable choice to use a Heart Purser because Heart Purser is great one in my opinion. You can actually even use on a legendary heroes Heart Purser if you don't have other legendary uh, marks archer uh, artifacts right uh, in terms of epic ones i think hurt Purser is number one choice uh, then maybe you have still hurt avenger that should be number two and the last choice is bomb flinger uh, but generally uh, mostly you are going to use hurt Purser for gwenwin and uh, craig and that should be the uh, main idea until you are going to get legendary artifact for the um 
um, for um, Gwen Wynne and Kragen for in general for archers right regarding war pits you have a couple of choices you you can already start building snow peak rock maybe you can you you will build a night rock this is like two archer war pits which you should start already slowly building right at least get a concentration even zero star and the ravage so you will have at some point some kind of war pit in the game uh for the archers all right the next step should be getting nico from the normal keys for to play friendly legendary hero uh, pretty good in my opinion and we are changing our hero pair whenever you're gonna get nico your main hero pair for archers will be nico as a primary and uh Gwenwin as a secondary um like it's great to have legendary hero in your hero pair especially for free to play players mainly i'm speaking for free to play players in this video right um well nico is a different style of marksman more of a skill damage factor a defense reduction type which is quite good especially against infantry players and uh, in this uh like meta is uh, infantry in our season season of stripe and i think nico works pretty fine uh, of course main idea should be to get first skill on level 5 and at least have 5-1-1-1 and start using uh, Nico and Gwenwin. That should be the next step uh, for the Archer players. Of course it will be amazing to have uh, a third and fourth skill on a high level but it will be hard especially for the to play players. Uh, but at least the minimum should be 5-1-1-1. One bad thing about Nico is that second skill, it's a mystery skill for my season, is like an engineering skill, which is pretty useless uh, in PvP, right? And also, we need to mention that Nico and Gwenwin is pretty amazing for Behemoth battles. It's, mu it's much, much stronger in PvP if we're gonna compare it to Gwenwin and Craig, right? So, you are using Nico and Gwenwin, you are having fun, you understood how archers work. Uh, finally you manage to get legendary artifact uh, and if it's a shadow blades uh, it's an amazing choice you are going to put shadow blades on your nico and gwenwin uh, you will uh, choose a snow peak rock for nico and gwenwin and you are pretty happy because you are moving in a wide direction uh, what would be the next step right as i said this video is about progression and what would be the next step uh, if there will be any chance for you to acquire Dinara, uh, maybe from the Lucky Spins, uh, for example, right? Uh, you will have a chance to have uh, a great hero pair with the uh, uh, like definite style, right? For example, let's say we have already Nico. Let's say you unlocked Dinara, you got ten uh, tokens for like maybe five k or seven k gems. And finally, you have Kinara. Of course, in order for us to use Kinara, we need to have 5111 uh, at least in order for us to be able to use the hero in the hero pair section. So let's say you go to Kinara 5111. Uh, we are using Nico as a primary, Kinara as a secondary. Um, Nico primary because of the precision talent. We are using Snow Peak Rock. Uh, we have Shadow Blades um, as a main artifact. Uh, um, for now, right? Um, and trust me, this hero pair is amazing. Uh, simply because a different style, uh, if we're gonna compare it to the other hero pairs, this is my main hero pair. Uh, you are generally dealing damage with skill damage factor, with defense reduction. Uh, you are having skill damage factor with Kinara also. Kinara makes this hero pair more tanky, lot of counter, counter attack damage. Uh, great buffs, but most important thing about this hero pair is that this uh, hero pair synergy is centered around defense reduction of the enemies, right? Let's see. Skill damage factor is defense reduction, and whenever uh, enemy has defense break, um, uh, Nico will deal 200 more uh, damage when awakened, and in addition to that, uh, Kinara's awakening skill is all about defense break, right? In addition to that, Snow Peak Rock's first main skill is all about defense break, 30% uh, chance to deal damage to target legion when inflicted defense break, another great uh, synergy, and also, if you will ever get, ever get Raki, in terms of uh, artifacts, and you will get Rattle Spear, Rattle Spear has, in addition, defense penetration. So, in the meta of infantry heroes, defense breaks, defense penetrations, reduction of the defense is working amazingly. So, this, uh, if you have all of these um, assets, um, I will call it like that, uh, Rattle Spear, good Snow Peak Rogue, 
uh, Nico at least 5111, Inara at least 5111, then you are already in, on an amazing phase to be a good archer player. You have a perfect hero pair, especially if you are a free to play player. That's why it was my main idea, that's why I decided to put almost every single legendary tokens on my Kinara, and she's my first and um, uh, not only because of the indies, but my first uh, PvP uh, legendary hero, which is Awakened, right? Because I love the synergy with Nico and Kinara, and now I'm slowly trying to awaken Nico, and I will have full synergy of defense breaks, defense penetrations, and so on. So right now we have already a one great hero pair. Um, how we can upgrade this hero pair? Well, there is only one way to upgrade this hero pair is to unlock um, Hosk, and we are going to replace Nico with Hosk, right? Hosk is a much, much better asset uh, in terms of Kinara's hero pair. Well, in terms of uh, uh, comparing Nico and uh, Kinara and Hosk and Kinara, there is two different playstyles, and unfortunately, if you are a tier 5 player, mainly pay to win player with tier 5 archer units, Hosk and Kinara is better. Well, of course, Hosk doesn't have a skill damage factor, but Hosk has amazing buffs, which works perfectly for Kinara, right? Attack bonus, HP bonus, damage dealt bonus, this is rally skill. Now, here again, another stats, defense bonus, normal attack bonus, and one of the best skills in the whole game, maximum legion capacity bonus 50,000. Uh, amazing awakening skill and also if we're gonna add up the tankiness of Kinara and tanky stats of Hosk uh, with more troops you are having like tank archer DPS uh, which is dealing huge amount of damage with counter attack damage uh, everybody hates to click on you uh, you are nightmare especially for tier 4 players and you are having fun of course, Hosk would be uh, the prim primary hero because of the precision talent. Uh, yet again, I think uh, Snowpeak Rogue would be the choice of, for the hero pair and uh, Rattle Spear would be the choice as an artifact. That's like an upgraded version of Nico and Kinara, which we 100% should have talked about, right? Uh, actually, if there will be a way that I would unlock Hosk uh, as a free-to-play player, that would be my best dream because I want to have Hosk and to pair it with my Kinara and have fun. Because generally, I, I at the beginning I thought Hosk would be available for a free-to-play set like a limited time maybe in the future, right? So, of course, we are moving forward, the game is progressing season after season, and you have a chance of getting Syndrome and Frega, right? Now the complicated stuff already starts, simply because Syndrion can be gotten from the Wheel of Destiny, uh, Freygar can be got from the Lucky Spins. In terms of prioritizing Syndrion and Freygar, already after like one and a half years of Call of Dragons, I would not really highly recommend to go full on Syndrion and Freygar. Maybe you got lucky well, like from the free draws, maybe you had some extra gems and you got lucky in Wheel of Destiny, and you got Syndrion, of course you are going to build Syndrion and Freygar, right? Because it's not a bad uh, hero pair, it's not amazing. In Season 2 it was the best one, of course, but because of the new heroes, their tier list are going in, in the tier list of archers, you are going down. If you are a player like me, if you are archer main, and you want to have every single archer hero pair, of course, you are going to try your best to get Syndrion uh, to pair it with the Freygar, right? Syndrion and Freygar is like a, a different style of archer and gameplay. Uh, Nico and Kinara was normal uh, skill damage factor, Hosk and Kinara was uh, tankiness, and Syndrion and Freygar is normal attack with crits, right? Uh, if we are if you are a free to play player, 5111 and 5111 Freygar should be the choice. Uh, in terms of artifact, well, um, as a free to play player, I'm using Heart of Kamasi because I like the key and the normal attack onslaught. But the best artifact for this hero pair is, of course, um, uh, Gold Crest, which should be somewhere here. Um, yeah, Gold Crest is the best artifact for this hero pair with these uh, stats which is giving. Uh, secondary, like Wireless Bow, should be totally fine. I really, really appreciate HP bonuses for every single hero pair in the game. 
But in terms of prioritizing and putting all the legendary tokens on Cinderion would be the mistake already in my opinion. But at the same time, if you are a pay to win player, uh, Awaken, Awaken Syndrome is still good. Uh, if you will have Awaken Syndrome and Awaken Fragar, of course, you are going to deal amazing amount of damage, right? That's simple fact. Uh, in terms of Warpath, of course, Night Rock should be the choice. Normal attack crit rate um, uh, Warpath, which works perfectly for Syndrome and Fragar. Of course, you need to get, get lucky for Syndrion from the Wheel of Destiny and from for Fragar, if you will get lucky spins, um, you will get Fragar from the lucky spins, you just have to spend some gems on it and you will be able to unlock uh, Fragar. Well, if you are a pay to win player uh, and you want to have 5 Archer Legions, so of course you are going to get every single hero pair um, and awaken them and you will have 5 Archers, right? For free to play players, um, my best recommendations would not be to put more legendary tokens on Sinjon and Fragar. Um, Alright, as we are moving forward with the video, we are moving forward with the progression of the Call of Dragons and the uh, newest Archer heroes are here. Magrot and Zaida. Uh, if you are a free to play player, if you are paid to win player, and if you manage to get Magrat, and if you manage to get Zaida uh, from the Zaida from the Lucky Spins and Magrat from the Wheel of Destiny, you are super happy, right? Uh, I will explain right why. For a free to play player, you want to have your uh, hero pair, uh, which you need to uh, put. Uh, the less uh, skills on the skill section with the tokens and get the maximum benefit, right? Let's imagine you are a free-to-play player, you got lucky, you got Magrat from the Wheel of Destiny, uh, you spin some lucky spins with the gems and you got Zyda. Uh, Magrat and Zyda 5111 is dealing huge amount of damage. It's absolutely best hero pair for archers currently in the game. For a free-to-play player, I love Magrat because uh, the uh, like stronghold and garrison skill is the force skill, right? If you are going to only uh, like, of course, at first you have to um, have first and main skill to five level, and after that you can simply only unlock these two skills and put your legendary tokens uh, and uh, of, like maybe everything if you're archer player to these two skills to make it five and five 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 even five five one uh, magrat and five one 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 zaida works wonders you are going to get a huge amount of uh, merits in the fights uh, you will be tanky you will have a lot of heals and also, in terms of style, this is normal attacker healer. You are healing amazing amount of heals this is with this hero pair. And generally, I think Magrat and Zaida is the best archer hero pair currently in the game. And with the explanation I had you know, for a free-to-play player, you can understand how easy it will be for equity to play players to uh, get best out of this hero pair. Unfortunately, I tried my best for two seasons of Wheel of Destinies to get uh, Magrat, but I could not. Of course, I will continue to do my best and unlock her, and of course, I will do this trick to have uh, a first skill on 5 level, then I'm gonna unlock this two, and uh, I'm not going to unlock the first one until I will get 5 here and 5 here. Um, and yeah, maybe I will even put Magrat as a VIP hero, I will try to awaken her and then I will continue with Zyda. This is like a late game hero pair for um, free to play players, for pay to win players. I think the best hero pair uh, currently in the game for PvP as an archer. And of course, we kind of have to mention um, uh, the artifact, right? The artifact, the perfect artifact for this hero pair is, of course, uh, Galded Crossbowman. Crossbow, right? Um, like this artifact came with this hero pair. It's pretty easy to understand why it is. Uh, HP bypass is the one of the best buffs we have in the game for PvP, right? If it will be hard for you to get um, this artifact, of course, like there is a lot of choices. So the Shadow Blades, you can even run uh, Heart of Kamasi for normal attack and uh, physical kin. Uh, you can even run um, the, like Gold Crest, you can even run Lylos Fall, depending on what you currently have, right? So this is like already late game and of course in terms of Warpit I will really really like to run Sand Lizard because of the heals, uh, because of the heals with Advanced Chain Strike. 
uh, you are getting with the wireable heals here and of course stone aura and intense aura uh, stone aura works perfectly on this warpit the secondary warpit is of course nitro with normal attack and crits uh, but i highly prefer sand lizard for this hero pair uh, i think we moved past with every single uh, hero pair in the game and uh, one last um, hero pair which i 100 percent love and I, it's secretly really really good if you are playing with Wilderberg like me and you have Wyverns which are archers of also but it's a flying archers you are going to use Craig and Thea with Wyverns it's a great hero pair I love this hero pair I, I always get unexpectedly high amount of merits uh, try it yourself if you will like it tell me what you like it maybe you will make it better but this is like one secret hero pair which I wanted to mention because um, um, Wyverns are also, also Archer uh, unit type and um, well I'm, as I'm playing it already for two seasons and I'm having absolutely fun I should mention there's this hero pair also in this video. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video as always if you did press like subscribe share always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this game. Uh, I wish everybody amazing morning, night or evening, wherever you are, we are going to see each other really really soon. Uh, bye bye and good luck.